Greetings and welcome back to Mr. Jules. Today something special, a fuse holder like this. And the question is whether a fuse holder like this will actually contain the explosion of a crappy fuse. So I've got the fuse holder and I've already soldered some suitably thick wires just to make for the electrons to easily get in and out of this. And I've got a box of the crappiest fuses I could find. Zenjiang Hangsu Zhouye Diangkyu Wanjiang Chang which means 100 pieces to arm fuses 5 times 20 millimeters F2A so 2 arm fast blowing fuse and here is a fuse holder you basically have got a spring loaded back clip that presses on against the fuse and then the cap which is connected to the other side you're meant to actually insert this here first for good contact and then that goes like so let's load it up into mr jules and see whether the fuse will contain the explosion or maybe it will disintegrate along with the fuse or maybe the fuse will actually do its job and it will turn out to be not so crappy as i wanted i must admit i'm quite uh, worried about this one i'm a little bit scared of flying debris from the fuse holder let's close the chamber uh, and it's worth noting mr jules has got new contacts on here previous ones have actually welded themselves together shut power on and let's switch on mr jules now mr jules is charging promptly to nominal 400 volts this is a fuse holder with a two amp fast blowing fuse in mr jules will it explode in three two one now that is slightly disappointing let's examine what happened so here is a fuse i've taken apart here is the very thin fusible wire inside and yeah that uh, kind of does the job uh, but what i'm about to do by the way you shouldn't do that although it might be a very tempting idea if you've run out of fuses just to rewire a fuse with a piece of thin wire i do not recommend you do so so i'm going to load up i've got how many four strands let's do five so five strands of very thin copper wire that has been thin coated now compared to that fuse, I'm not sure how many amps that's going to be, but it will be a lot. Now, this is guaranteed to explode. The question is, will the fuse holder hold it? Take two of the fuse holder test. Now, this time the fuse is completely inappropriate. This is to test the fuse holder rather than the fuse itself. This is an inappropriate fuse in Mr. Jules, in a fuse holder, to see whether the fuse holder will work removing chicken stick and i am a little bit worried three two one okay the fuse holder is intact let's see whether the fuse held up right let's open this up and see yes there you go so we did have an explosion, but the fuse holder did actually held it up, which is good to know, I guess. Uh, the fuse has turned to powder, and so did the wire that I stuffed into it. There we go. That's one, one cap of the fuse. There isn't much left. It's all charred, and let's see if I can get the rest of it out. Yeah. There's a little bit of charring on the contact of the fuse holder, but mechanically it's actually quite sound. It did hold up and contain that explosion inside. We did definitely get an explosion because the fuse is no more, but the fuse holder did quite well. Well, that's good to know. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this and found it informative. Please do subscribe for more random electronic stuff and for more Mr. Jules. For this video, that's it. So, take care.